Thank you, John. <clears throat> you ought to be real proud of the fact that you are, you know, Hall of Fame worthy in three sports because today that would be very, very difficult with the off-season pro programs and all that, but to uh, participate in three sports today is really tough and to be uh, excelling in them the way you have. It's a real tribute to you. Moving on now to our next inductee. I think the name of this young gentleman is going to <clears throat> not surprise many people and that is Ron Stoops, Jr. I really never knew that uh, you had a junior at the end of your name, Ron. But Ron graduated in the class of 1975. And Ron's being inducted for significant contributions. And when I use the word significant, it really doesn't seem worthy enough to honor the contributions that Ron Stoops Jr. has made to Cardinal Mooney High School. Ron started conventionally enough. He earned first team all diocese, second team all still valley in football. He also played basketball. He set assist records as a point guard. And after graduation, Ron's impact on Mooney really blossomed. As an athlete on the football team, Ron was a split end, tight end, wherever we needed him. And his dad thought a lot of Ron because of his work habits. And when he got into the ball game, was not quite as often as I know he would like, he proved to his dad that he belonged there. After graduation, as a defensive coordinator from 2001 to 2009, the team that he was the coordinator of went 90 and 26. The playoff record was 24 and 4 as a defensive coordinator and earned three state championships and two state runner ups while he was on the staff. For the last 10 years, Ron was, has been very instrumental in organizing numerous fundraising projects, not the least of which was the Camp of Champions, the Celebrity Bocce Social, and the Fit for Life campaign. These effort, efforts have generated almost $2 million for Cardinal Mooney High School. helped with scholarship opportunities, also the turf on our football field, the new and expanded boys and girls locker room, the Ron Stoops baseball facility, and the Armory Project. Although he is now the defensive backs uh, coach at YSU, Ron continues to volunteer his abundant talents to fulfill the dreams of a permanent training facility and the renovation of the Armory into an auxiliary gym. Ron and his wife, Bonnie, are the proud parents of four Mooney graduates. Let's all welcome Ron Stoops, Jr. Ron. Thank you, Ron. committee for choosing me to be part of this very distinguished group. I must say I was very surprised and, and very humbled when I received the letter. I, I really didn't know what it was. You can ask my wife. I, she said, you better look closer. But uh, also I'd like to uh, congratulate the other inductees. Um, I am honored to be part of such a great class. Uh, you, know you, you know you've been around a long time when you can remember watching all of these guys play. I think I've seen them all. And, sister do what she's done so well. 
Uh, I am being recognized uh, for significant contributions. Uh, I graciously accept this award on behalf of the countless people who have volunteered their time and money to support our efforts at Cardinal Mooney. Um, I just pause and say, I didn't raise $2 million or renovate those buildings. There are so many people. Uh, it would take uh, the rest of the evening and be virtually impossible to individually name those who have helped us do these many projects and support Cardinal Mooney High School. Um, the introduction, thank you, Mr. Pucci, those many things. Uh, Sister also alluded to those many projects we seem to work together on. Uh, but, you know, it's the, it's the countless people, uh, the contractors, the plumbers, the electrician, the, the heating and cooling, I mean, you name it. Uh, people are constantly stepping up, uh, painting the outside of the building, landscaping, you, you name it, and people are always there. So uh, I guess, you know, somebody had, has to be singled out, and I graciously accept on behalf of all the, the, the many volunteers that have done so much on these efforts. I'd also, uh, since I've been, uh, since I've taken a, a new position at Youngstown State, one that I, I love very much, um, you know, I'm, I'm so excited and I get so excited to hear about the ongoing uh, efforts and there's uh, more people, more volunteers. They've done a fabulous job of uh, installing new bleachers to the gymnasium, uh, new lights in the gymnasium. They've done a fabulous job painting it and uh, redoing the concession stands. So uh, just the, uh, the tradition continues and the, the giving just continues. Uh, from a PR standpoint, our, our efforts do continue. <laughs> with the Golden Cardinals annual celebrity bocce uh, event. It'll be uh, this July 8th. If, if you haven't been there, it's, a, it's quite an event. It's one you wouldn't want to miss. It's, it's great. I, too, uh, would like to recognize some very special people that, that are here tonight and have made an impact on, on my life. I, I feel very blessed. Um, I, I have many classmates, uh, guys and girls from the class. Uh, my wife graduated with me, and some of our friends, uh, guys and girls, are here. I'm grateful for their friendship, and as far as I'm concerned, it's the best class to ever graduate. Sorry, 1971, or is that 1972, right now? <laughs> uh, also, um, I, I have uh, a great, you know, family out, outside of my immediate family. I have many uh, aunts and uncles, cousins, and, and lifelong friends that are here with us tonight and, and sharing this this evening with us and you know it's it's very comforting to know that you have such a reliable support system and we're very grateful for your uh, your attendance and at this event annually and for all your support throughout the year um, you know just like the projects that, that we have done uh, when it comes to football again it was a team effort and uh, I like to uh, you know acknowledge uh, coach Becco for his great leadership, you know, uh, the confidence that, that he had to, you know, change that uh, trips, you know. You know, Moody's got to be the only school in America where trips means three backs, you know. And, and you got to love him, you know, him and he and my dad. You know, trips, no, that's three receivers. No, what are you talking about? They, they act like there's no other football other than the one they talked about. And, and where, guys, are corners the outside linebackers? Is there any, I mean, Dad, that, that, that's not cool. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's corners. You know, no, no one else do anything. But uh, Coach Becko made some significant changes. Uh, you know, my dad might have been turning, rolling over in his grave, and Coach Butchie was maybe losing those last few hairs. I, I don't know, but but it, it worked. But in all seriousness, uh, you know, my hats off to uh, PJ and and the job he did uh, to make some of those changes and to keep the program, um, you know, rolling. And, um, you know, the confidence, you know, he, he had in me to, to give me the freedom to do some things. It was, a, it was a great team effort. And not just him, but but all the other coaches. I was very blessed to work with some very dedicated and talented assistant coaches. Uh, when we had a ball, we enjoyed every minute, and I enjoyed my time there very much. Uh, and, and of course, the great players. You know, you don't win all those games without great players. Um, there's another special group here I, I want to make mention. Uh, I have uh, taught at Boardman High School for, for the last 25 years, and uh, I'm very lucky to work with such uh, great, talented teachers and, and friends there. And as you can imagine, 
it can be kind of awkward uh, teaching at Boardman and coaching at Moody. <laughs> and uh, these guys have, have been great in understanding and, and being supportive. And, and I have many of them uh, here tonight, and, and some of the former players I coached at Boardman are here that, that are also very near and dear to my heart. And thank you guys for coming. Um, I, I, I want to uh, I, I want to publicly thank my my wife's family, my father-in-law, mother-in-law, Frank and Dorothy Petroni, my brothers-in-law, my sisters-in-law. You know, for for their love and support. Appreciate you being here. Um, I would like to, you know, my, my mom. I have to recognize. Is it just me or? Yeah, um, but but what can I say about my mom? My mom, along with my dad. Uh, for setting a wonderful example for their children, instilling us uh, the values of faith, family, and hard work. Mom, I love you. Thank you for everything you've done for all of us. My children, uh, as, as was mentioned, they all graduated here. Ron, uh, Melanie, Ronnie, Joe, and John make me proud every day. Uh, very excited. Uh, my, my oldest daughter, Melanie, uh, has got engaged. Uh, Justin, we look forward to having you part of our family. And Jenna, same thing. We look forward to it. You know, have to be part of our family. Thanks for being here. Um, last but certainly not least is uh, my my wonderful wife, uh, the love of my life. Um, as a couple guys have mentioned, there's there's no way I could coach and help and volunteer and do some of the projects we did without somebody to keep things going at home. And uh, Bon, I, I love you. Thank you for for all you've done. Uh, you know, for me and, and for our family and for the great job keeping our house together. So, um, you know, just in closing, um, you know, I, I feel, you know, my dad, I don't know what I can say. I, I thank you, Mark, for that great compliment. There's, you know, that there's no greater compliment that you can ever give me, and I, I thank you for that. I hope in some way it's true. You know, a lot of people, you know, would say, oh, you know, you're, you're telling my, when I was, when he was alive, that, uh, you know, you've done so much and, and so on. But my dad always believed that, that he got way more in return, and I feel the same way. This really wasn't necessary. I enjoyed all the friendships and all the experiences, and, you know, uh, whatever I've done, it, 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 it pales in comparison to the way, you know, how much I feel I've gotten out of all these experiences. Thank you very much. Have a great night.